So what is the pandemic here to teach humanity? Uh, obviously, I don't know the answer to that. There's no actual answer to that. Uh, but I have a few ideas about what's coming up and the energy of what's arising in this moment. Uh, so the pandemic has obviously caused a global shock. Uh, we're all bumbling along, living our busy lives, doing our own thing. Uh, pandemic comes along and forces us into a new rhythm. It forces us to all in some ways uh, to change tack. For some of us, it's been to stop. So for some people, it's been to speed up and accelerate what they're doing. Depends what kind of we're working on and what we're doing. Um, but this, this idea of a shock is all about um, a moment where we're asked to look and look again. So let's look and look again at what we're doing, what's going on. And there's these three questions that keep coming up um, that are provoked by the pandemic. So let's let's go through them. So what is precious? You know, we've all come face to face with our own fear of mortality. Um, we've all known people um, who have suffered greatly through this pandemic. We may all have uh, lost people as well. Um, and so there's been this real sort of moment of uh, confrontation with our vulnerability, with tragedy, with our humanity, with the, the timeline uh, that we have as human beings has been really evident. And it's really asking us this question to really hone in and what is precious? What is precious to us? Um, and we've all been kind of noticing what is precious. We've been uh, we've been living with people in, in new rhythms. Uh, we've been perhaps alone more than we've ever been before, um, or we've been together more than we've ever been before. Um, and we've been really focusing on this question, what is precious? What is important to you is one of the ones that comes out of it as well. So what's precious is that sense of, you know, what's life really all about? What is the, the joy of life? What is the essence of life? Um, and then what's important to you, the sort of more catalyzing towards action type of question, what's important to you? Um, and what are you creating? I think we all have had a moment to really look at what are we creating? And at whatever stage you're at in your life, I think um, the pandemic as well as the climate emergency has forced all generations at this time to really step up and notice that this is a moment of responsibility where conscious creativity is going to be the answer to our problems if we can find solutions to our problems. And so all generations, we were really focusing in on this. And so what are you creating? What are you creating and why are you creating it? And so we've all had this opportunity just to look and look again just to soften into some of the ways in which we've been living our lives um, and to notice what's there. What is the real intentionality behind what we're doing? Um, and so this is the lesson. So for humanity, um, we could say the pandemic is a tool of awakening. Uh, we could say that it is something which has shaken us up, um, that it has brought us into awareness. Um, and that we now have a much greater opportunity uh, for coming together, for solving our problems, for working collaboratively and globally. For businesses, I think the pandemic is really asking business to bring awareness to what you are doing, to your actions. What is the impact of your business? And really just looking wholesale of that. Um, the rising movement towards mindfulness, towards conscious capitalism, is this growing sense of consciousness evolving and asking us to bring more awareness to our actions. It can't just be uh, profit at all costs. We know where that leads. Um, if we're still going in that direction without any sense of higher purpose, without any sense of values, we are for sure part of the problem. And for professionals, um, it's that sense of, are you on track? Are you in the right place? Are you um, serving at this time in the right way at the right moment? Are you learning in the right way? Um, are you finding your way? It doesn't mean we instantly all realize we're in exactly the right place at the right time. But is there a sense of there's learning happening here, there's growth happening here, 
Um, this is something that I can um, pack in my rucksack of tools and skills as I set forth and bring into alignment who I am and what I stand for, and what's precious and important to me and express that through work. Um, I think this is really a time where we're all being called into on a personal, professional, uh, business and global level, being called into alignment. Um, you know, we don't need to fear uh, the forces that would seem to have it in for us if we can all align around our own conscious intentions to speak them out loud, uh, to make a stand for them, to course correct um, the organizations and businesses that we touch, that we work through. And um, then there is, there is nothing to be afraid of um, and that there is everything uh, to work for at this time to, to bring us into a more harmonic state as a, as a species. Um, so those are a few of my musings on what the pandemic is here to teach us. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below. So do let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching and remember to follow and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.